Ah, right here. I don't. Ball hungry <laughs> as a bitch. <laughs> hey, nobody awake, so I'm about to gobble on this glit. Yeah, Slay, Slay was on time, man. Slay was on time, oh, man. Slay was on time, man. Was on time, man. Hey, you put paper. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to SCS the round paper. Of Black Air Force activity because Welcome today to we got a I'm special. I'm gonna open fire right now. The last time Damn, we had one like this, it was about a good year ago. But ladies and gentlemen, stepping ah. up to the plate, the teenage tormentor himself, Slade, Slade. the childhood Slade menace. The master manipulator. Slay had no business being up teens. Like, really had no business being this big of an antagonist to teenagers, bro. Like, Slade had Robin sweating bullets. Like, no funny shit. Like, Slade had Robin in a chokehold, bro. Like, it's actually, like, really bad. Like, Slade was literally abusing Robin back to back to back to back to back to back. Get this nigga fucking coat sweats in his dreams. Oh, yeah, shit, bro. This is one of the most Crazy. devious, vile, disgusting niggas to ever do this shit. Man, it's been a minute since we've done a cartoon character, but man, y'all already know we got the evidence on deck, mm. and it is finally time to observe the master of the fade. So, mm. without further ado, exhibit A. Oh, so far. So far, bro. It's fucked up, bro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you exhibit A, pulling the strings and mm. trolling. Robin. So at the beginning of Teen Titans, all Slade was doing was just pulling strings and just staying in the shadows. Bro sent the hive to jump these niggas in the broad daylight just to start fucking with them. They ended up Facts. using all of their ults at the same time and body Robin. Facts. Then later on, they pulled up to their crib and started fucking mm. their shit up. Like, nah, bro, they was mm. just enjoying their day. And then this man Slade sent the ops to pull up at their front door. So after they end up beating them, Robin picks up Gizmo. And he's like, hey, nigga, who the fuck is Slade? And Gizmo's like, hm, I ain't telling you shit. I ain't no snitch. Gosh. But nah, you see, here's the thing. Slade knew they were going to fail. This man was like, yeah, I know they sorry as hell. I knew they wasn't going to do shit. They was just some messengers. And you see this man start playing Robin on the screen over and over and over again, hell asking no. who was played. Nah, bro, hell what no. the f Hell no. This man was just giving them a teaser to what was going to happen to them later on. But nah, he was not done doing these pre-fight shenanigans. He got Cinder Block to break Plasmus out of- yeah, Cinder, Cinder, Block was, Cinder Block was really a slave, bro. Like, that nigga was really doing the grunt work for what to call a slave, bro. And Plasmus was so nasty, bro. Watching every Plasmus episode was so disgusting and always through jail. Why he sitting down this dusty ass throne room plotting and shit, thinking, hmm. Who should I send to spin their block next? Then after this, he ended up disguising himself as an old man and actually ended up manipulating yep. forces of. Yo, those niggas are hard. I love these brothers, bro. What's it called? The Thunder Brothers? Or whatever the fuck? Lightning and Thunder and the Blue Nigga. You know what I'm saying? He he, brother. He a BLM brother. You know what I'm saying? He, he started feeling sympathetic and started being like, yo, this is fucked up, bro. Like, come on now. Like, we can't be doing this. Like, all about all the innocent people. And he's like, innocent people? And he started getting started talking no dudes to him, that nigga. And the brother's like, yes, brother. We need to keep on destroying just to destroy. Like, I love Nature, these characters. Lightning and thunder to do his bidding. And then yep. he started fighting Robin. Yep. And Robin has no clue who this is at all. So then man started swinging. He's like, yes, Robin. Good, Robin. Good. I like what I see, Loka. Catch on the flip side. Yep. So then later on, Slade ends up sending all of his Slade bots to jump the Titans and steal this oh. chip. So while one of the bots is running away with the chip, Starfire's like, please stop and hand the chip over. But then this nigga just looks at her. He's like, man, shut your <laughs> ass Look at that ass. <laughs> Bro really pulled the blicky on her ass. But nah, they finally end up stopping the bot. So Robin's like, hey, nigga, quit playing with me. Who the f is Slade? So Bro takes off the mask and this man Slade is on FaceTime. <laughs> what? Hey, what's good with you, cuh? Hey, listen, listen. Uh, I've no. been really impressed with what you've been doing lately, my guy. I mean, I wish I was there to whoop your ass in person. But, uh, I don't think you're ready for that yet. To the loo, nigga. So no, no. This Face the straight talk sound effects is crazy. So obsessed with finding out who Slade is, he decided, you know what? 
I'm gonna become a criminal. So this man yeah. becomes ready right and starts stealing shit. I just made a TikTok about that, bro. Is that a love when Robin is corrupted by slave? Like, yo, this nigga becomes a real very good fire though. Well, X was actually fire. I thought we were right. Fighting his own team he just to get closer to this nigga. He is obsessed. So later on, he finally ends up getting to meet Slade. So Slade comes up to him and he's like, impressive, impressive. We are just alike. So Robin's like, all right then, so what's your plan? Then this man Slade says, patience. You can't expect me to trust you yet, right. Robin. <laughs> this man Slade like, <laughs> You didn't think I would know that it was hey, you, <laughs> dumbass boy. Now you about to get jumped and I'm gonna take your chain. But then everybody else ended up pulling up. So Robin just started chasing mans. So while they're having this rooftop chase, Robin ends up jumping down to Slade and Slade's like, careful my boy. I don't want you getting hurt. Then he starts saying, the worst part is when the nigga infected him with the fucking disease. And his bloodline that just made him tweak out, bro. It made him start tweaking like nigga like Slade, Slade. Slade, nigga just, was just tweaked out, bro. Slade was a demon. You know, it's kind of not hero like stealing shit so he could get kind of close to me. Two wrongs doesn't make a right, my boy. So then Robin starts swinging, but Slade is just beating this kid. Bro's like, damn, did Batman teach you shit? Because you can't hit me for nothing. Then he ends up grabbing this man and throwing him all the way off of the building. So while Robin's hanging on, he ends up falling, but Slade yeah. ends up grabbing him. So Robin's like, huh? Are, are, are you saving me? And then Slade says, nah, I'm not done whooping your ass yet. Yeah, get your ass back up. Slade, he whips this the back up. What the f***? Nah, nah, bro. That's absolutely wild. Bro really saved his life. You have to just beat his beat ass. Some more. Nah, bro, that's demonic. So then Robin finally lands on the head. Shit. So he goes to take off the mask, nah, but homie is, is on FaceTime again. <laughs> hey, what's going with you, my boy? Hey, listen, listen. I really wish I could have been there today. I really wanted to whoop your ass, but the hole's called up. You feel me? <laughs> it's crazy because it wasn't him. It was a droid that did that. <laughs> like, it was, like, why is an android showing his empathy? Is that a protocol? Like I what? Can't miss a call with the hose, my nigga. Hey, hey, that one night with Lady Shiva. Ooh, ooh, boy, I tell you, I had her and Tali all ghoul on my dick. So, uh, I hope you like this gift I left you. Oh. So some time ends up passing after this, and we just get this absolute weird mm -hmm. scene. So Robin is chasing Slade in like this canyon, and their movements look very similar to the rooftop chase scene. So Robin starts swinging and Slade. Oh. I never peeped that. I never peeped that. I never peeped that was the same exact animation. Bro's about dying in there. I'm not finished. He is just Go beating there. him just like he beat him on the roof. Like he is oh. making this man do ragdoll physics. So Robin ends up destroying these pillars. And Slay's like, excellent work, Robin. We're just alike, oh. equally ruthless. But Robin ends up socking him and he's like, I'm nothing like you. All you care about is destruction. Hey, up his back is him. <laughs> Good, please. You destroy everything, Robin. And the dropped pillars ended up turning into stone faces of the Titans. So he takes off his That's mask him. and sees his own face. And he starts laughing and shit. Yo, Fly is so annoying, bro. Like, why is this nigga in this video, bro? That laugh is like his mask and sees his own face. And he starts laughing and shit. Oh, God. And this was a dream sequence the entire time. Oh, my God, bro. He's fucking with his head. Oh That's a word. God, bro, the psychological warfare is strong with this one. So that mm. morning, Slade ends up calling him. Nigga, where is that? Discord? Greetings, <laughs> Titans. See, look, it's early in the morning, so I'm just going to be straight with you and show you my evil. So look, I got this bomb right, and like I said, now nah, breakout rooms is crazy. <laughs> and I'm gonna be very forward with you. I'm about to breakout rooms is crazy. Oh, and just to let you know, this detonator can stop time. You feel me? So <laughs> I got the power of the world. So uh, TikTok pussies. Pussies. This crazy. nigga is crazy. So they end up getting to the warehouse, and Robin is just beating the <laughs> hell out of all the bots. He ain't saving none for nobody. And yo, look at him beating the hell Damn. out of this dead bot. No, he is channeling his inner Brian Fury right now. So Starfire is like, Robin, stop, or you're getting no more of thy coochie for the rest of the week. But Robin's like, no, that where this nigga slayed at. So then he ended up chasing down an innocent man, threw him on the wall and started interrogating him. Was like, hey, what slayed at, cuz? Tell me now. But then they ended up stopping him. But they like, hey, bro, chill, it ain't that deep. But Robin's like, huh, deep? Nigga, fuck you know about deep? 
I'm like, y'all sorry as hell. I'm going to find Slade. Yep. So finally, after all this time, Robin finds Slade. So Slade says, wow, about damn time, man. I thought you was never going to make it. Like, bro, it's been 11 episodes, but I'm finally glad you made it. Now I got the detonator right here. You want it? Then come get it. So they get to scrapping and Slade just starts beating them again. This is like, come on now, Robin. You could do a little better than that. Now witness my ultimate attack. Flying. Tazumaki's appeal <laughs> Yo, how he been not, he been not said actually flawlessly. What the fuck? Tazumaki, this is not a fight. This is a beating. This is like, mm, good technique. Then breaks his arm. Then he gives him a DBZ gut punch. Yep. That man's thinking about life differently after that one. Yep. Then Robin ended up raging out. So he grabs the detonator and he's like, yes, I've finally done it. But Slade's like, ha, uh, no, you did it. You see, there is no trigger because Damn. this is not a bomb. Damn. So the rest of the team was by this so-called bomb and they ended up getting shot by this laser. laser. So then it's like Slade explains his actual plan. The bomb uh, was just a distraction. Me. That laser that he shot at everybody else ended up having probes on it. And with a push of a button, he could kill them at any second. Yep. So Robin's like, nah, you can't control them. But Slay says, but I can control you. You see, yep. all of this trolling that I've been doing towards you, I was testing you. You see, you're going to become my apprentice. Because yep. if you don't, I'm going to kill everybody else. So you have no choice. So he ended up manipulating yep. this man to become his apprentice. So he got Robin out here stealing Find stuff, his fighting his own friends, and is just straight up abusing him. So yep. this Slade ended up making him rob Wayne Enterprises. Ooh, I know this Bruce is mad. But then the Titans pull up, so he dips. So Slade is in his earpiece like, hey boy, the f you think you're doing? Let's so like go get your ass back in there and steal yeah, that shit. Is Charlie Boss, I'm off your friends right now. Stop playing with me. So Robin is going to end up having to fight his own crew. So Starfire ends up holding him up. But then Slade in the earpiece again like, Hey, boy, you better shoot mm. her right now. I ain't playing with you, Robin. Mm. But Starfire doesn't want to shoot him, so Robin's like, Ugh, I, I can't do this. Hey, nigga, didn't I tell you to shoot that bitch? I told you, boy, I ain't playing with you. So then he turns the probes on them. Oh, my God. So then Robin just has to shoot him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So then Robin gets back to the base, and then he tries to swing on Slate, but he grabs his punch. Bro's like, hmm. That's a dishonorable punch. Like it's I told you, Robin, like we're just alike. But then he starts beating this man again. Yeah. Oh my goodness, bro. Somebody called child services. Man started tossing him around. Uh, all right, this is exactly what you've been saying, bro. Like at this point, really call child services, bro. Call CPS. Brown, and man's was like, you ungrateful mother Ooh, what I'm about to do to you, you best call Batman right now. But then everybody else end up pulling up. So then Slade ends up using the probes on him, but Robin ends up pulling the probes on himself. So he has to stop using it, and then they just started jumping. Like that. They was like, teamwork makes the dream work. So Slade was like, eh, another day. This is just the beginning, mother Hell yeah, no. that Play was like that. It's finally time to move on to Exhibit B. If I get to Exhibit B, it's crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, the manipulation of Terra. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Where can I start I love with Terra this? Education. Can you you know what? Let, let's just go ahead and get the I elephant out the room. So now, there's a reason I'm focusing only on the 2003 one. <laughs> because some of these other versions of Deathstroke, <laughs> oh, boy, I tell you. Oh, yeah, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I heard what the you think that what Slade did to Terra in his comments. Wild, wild. Three one, <laughs> because some of these other versions of Deathstroke. <laughs> oh boy, I tell you. Yep. So yeah, uh, back to our regular schedule programming. In the second season of Teen Titans, we meet Terra, this girl with Earth bending like powers. So she ends up becoming friends with the Titans. And if you're friends with the Titans, you're on this man's radar. So Terra has a little secret, and it's that she can't control her powers. And Beast Boy is the only person that she tells this to. And she's like, Peaky Promise, don't tell nobody. So later on, she teams up with the Titans to stop Slade. So she ends up getting separated, and she sees Slade running. So she ends up chasing him, and she ends up stopping him. But then Bro sweeps her, and he's like, huh. You falling for my trap. So Dog traps her in this cave. Then he starts sweeping on this defenseless girl. Like literally, then this man literally. performed one of the most demonic gaslights of all time. You know, I wrote a clip. Hey, get back up. You know, little girl, 
I know literally everything about you, right? You see, I've been watching you for days, weeks, months, years, decades, yep. centuries, centuries, eons, eons time, time G shit. Um, nigga, is that kind of creepy? Shut Why up. is Terry saying nigga? No, That's crazy. That when the Titans figure out you can't control your powers, they you gotta turn on you. Out, and they yep. will. Cause they ain't your friends. They ain't fucking with see, you. I can Me? help you. I can help I can teach you. you how to control mm -hmm. your powers. But, uh, what about my friends? <laughs> Bitch, f your friends. It's just a matter of time for a slide on the niggas. But Beast Boy promised me. F that pony ear ass. That yeah. loud mouth ass boy. You know he gonna tell him. But yep. he promised me. He ain't promised you shit. <laughs> my God, that's actually peak gaslight. That's actually peak gaslight. Bro, what? what? <laughs> See, look at you. You can't even control shit with your sorry ass. You need me, ho. Oh. So after this mission, the Titans invite Terra to join the team. Robin's like, you're a great fit. Nah, say, 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 say the creep. Not even just in Teen Titans, bro. I'm telling you, in the comic book, this thing is way worse. Deathstroke, demon, demon. Hey, but we can tell that you can't control your powers. So she ended up freaking out, thinking that Beast Boy said something, but he actually ain't say nothing. They just figured it out. And she ended up running away. And guess who she ran to? This nigga is a demon. He planted the seeds in her head. The seeds and of hell. All he literally had to do was just wait. The so seeds some of hell. time passes, and she ends up coming back, and she can control her powers. Hmm, something's real fishy here. So she ends up joining the team again, but obviously she has other ulterior motives. So yep. she ends up going on a date Your with bot. these boys. So they leave. So when they leave, she's Cyborg, up, she's up and like, God dog, ball hungry as a bitch. Hey, 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 nobody awake, so I'm about to gobble on God, this clip. damn. Not gonna lie, yo. These niggas were wild. If it was a burger, okay, but a jumbo glizzy, nigga? Bitch. Hey, 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 nobody awake, so I'm about to. God fucking damn, nigga. Like, damn. I knew Cyborg had a little bit of sugar in his tank, bro. It's not, it's not even motor oil in his veins, bro. It's fucking sugar, bro. It's iced tea. It's sweet tea. But gobble on this glit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Yo, this man Cyborg really got caught in 4K with the so taking double down the fist entire together. security of the Titans Tower. So while the Titans are getting jumped by all the slate pots, Terra's on her date with the Beast Boy. So they in this Ferris wheel. They try to kiss this man. Slade so is in the corner, just chilling. Bro's like, yeah, oh, so y'all motherfuckers so just creepy. gonna act like I ain't here, shit. I ain't yeah, here. So he fuck. walks over, throws Beast Boy out of the Ferris wheel, starts whipping his ass. So they end up retreating into the House of Mirrors, and this man Slade looking like one of the tethered in us. So then it's revealed that Terra is Slade's apprentice. I mean, if you couldn't surprise, see the signs from a mile away. So then Beast Boy started raging out, but Slade just pulled the quickie on him. So after they finished scrapping, Beast Boy's like, wow, so you just gonna play with my feelings like that? I right, then no wonder you ain't got no friends. Beat the traffic, ho. You are not him. And that was the final straw that finally ended up breaking her. And yeah. this man Slade had this all planned out. Yeah. This man is a different type of menace. Bruh's like, my apprentice, you should yeah. all serve me in this whack ass suit with them big ass feet, them fat ass size 52s. My God, you giving Sora a run for his money with those big ass, fat ass, big ass, steel toed boots. God damn them. Fat as hell. So some days later, the Titans driving down the street and they get hit by this rock. And it was Terra in this whack ass suit. And she's like, hey, pussies. That's who the first is been slayed in her earpiece. Yeah, that's right. I like that shit. I like that shit. So she starts scrapping with them. And then it's revealed that Slade has control of her suit. And he has direct access to her nervous system. So bro takes over and just starts going buck wild. Oh, that's so why the he ain't up having the dip. So then later on, Slade sends Terra to break out cinder block plasma and sin. overload. And yeah. all the Titans ended up getting body. Made. This was so traumatic, bro. Cause it, yo, yo, I'm telling you, this show was a little bit too dark. I get it. I'm like, I still fucking Raven drown, bro. And like niggas fall off cliffs and Break shit, out bro. Cinder block plasmas and over. These niggas were really wild. The like, look what happened to fucking cyborg. Beast boy fall down a fucking cliff just now, or it was a cavern. 
I forgot who, who this was, but look, look, look at Ravens drowning. Ended up getting body made. Come on. It, it was just raps after that. So this man Slate took over the entire city. Yo, where the f is the Justice Police, League? Yeah, what the fuck? So the Titans end up having to come back and jump Terra. So while this girl is running for her life, getting the absolute brakes beat off of her, she runs back to Slate like, Slate, I can't do it. Then he socks her in the face. <laughs> So I was like, hmm, you thought what they did to you was bad? Oh, please, just wait till what I'm about to do to your ass. So this man just starts beating the life out of her. Bro, it's like, you had one job and you running away like a bitch? Oh, nah, little boo-boo, that ain't gonna do. So now Slade is controlling her, about to make her kill Beast Boy. But through the power of friendship, she ended up breaking free and started swinging on Slade. Look, can't, can't beat that. Stop throwing these little small ass pebbles at me. And then the menace slave ended up falling to his demise. And that was the end of his journey. Psych. Psych. Exhibit C. Because niggas started haunting this nigga Robin from his fuck. Like, they was dead. Like, Slave was actually dead. And Robin started, like, started tripping off the fucking Perk 30s, bro. I'm telling you. I remember this. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -oh. I now present to you our final exhibit from the grave. grave. From so the grave. Slade has been dead for some time now. But Robin is obviously still, still obsessed thinking mm -hmm. he can come back one day. So one day while they're fighting Cinderblock, Robin is in this dark forest. And he ends up being Slade. So he starts tracking him down. So Slade's like, Slade. oh, Robin, wouldn't you like to stop me again? I got these three bombs placed around the city. Can you defuse them in time? There's so no then bombs. everybody else pulls up. And Robin's like, guys, Slade, he's back. The cyber's like, Wait, wait, what you mean? Talking, talking about about saw that man drown in lava. But Robin's like, nah, I swear to God, I saw that nigga. So Robin sends them out to find the bombs, but they can't find There's absolutely no nothing. So then Robin sees Slade again and he starts boxing him up. So then he ends up running right past Starfire. So Robin's like, hey, the f go, what are you doing? Right He's you. right there. He's like, I did not see uh, him. Robin, what the There's hell have no you been there. smoking? Because there was nobody There's there. Nobody there. <laughs> so Robin ends up running off back to Slade's yeah. old base. So he ends up seeing him again. So he's like, oh, Robin, hello, you glad sick. you could make it. So Robin starts swinging again, but then Slade just starts beating the absolute hell out the of this guy. Piss. He is beating the him like piss. he's never beat him before. Like, this isn't even a fight. This is just a like, My thing is, this is all in his head. So, like, this thing is throwing himself on the ground. Like, imagine this, and no one's grabbing it. Like, how is this happening? Get up! So the other Titans pull up, and they see him just getting hit by nothing. The Cyborg, like... Uh, oh, well, nigga, are you good? But Robin just keeps on insisting that Slade is here, so they just have to <gasps> shoot. Him. So they end up strapping Robin on this bed to see what's wrong with him. So while they outside and Robin is in this room alone, he Crazy. ends up seeing Slade Play. again. So I was like, Robin, what are you doing? Let me get you out of those restraints. This thing goes on so some per minutes 30, later, and then everybody realized, oh my God, yo, where did this man just go? So Raven tries to find him, so she ends up going in his mind. And yo, you can just see all the trauma this man has. If you look see, closely, Raven, you, you can, can clutch right literally here. see his parents falling to their death off of the trapeze. Like, I know this is supposed to be a kid show, but Jesus Christ. So Raven finally ends up getting into his mind. So she's like, see, Robin, there's yeah. absolutely nobody here. Boom. Boom. So then Raven's like, oh my God, no, nah, he's not tripping. So meanwhile, as we cut to Slade, just whooping Robin, just absolutely brutally pummelizing this man in his own nigga, house. Bro. Robin literally starts begging for his life. Bro's like, please, Slade, stop. And Slade's like, nah, I will never stop. I am the thing that keeps you up at night. The evil that haunts every dark corner of your goddamn mind. I will absolutely never rest. So he got it. Will you? But Robin ends up turning on the light and he finally stops him. And he ends up figuring out that this man Slade had one last trick to have this toxic dust from his mask enter Robin so he could beat the shit out of this nigga in his head. Oh my God. Oh buddy, that's just taking it just too far. Man said, even in death, I will still whoop your ass. So we gotta be thinking, all right, this is finally the end of Slade, right? It's gotta be over, right? Wait, what's, there more? what's more? This man comes back from the dead. 
Oh hey, yo, the... yeah, I remember. Chat, I remember. This is the part where fucking this is like towards like the Raven's dad shit. And like he so like what's it called? Raven's dad possesses Slade. And then what's it called? Slade's basically basically one of like Raven's dad's like sl like slaves. Slaves. Yeah, we can say slaves. One of them is like fucking minions. I remember this. He had big ass mark. Fake ass! Fake ass Marjorie Vegeta. He had big ass S on his on his forehead, bro. I remember there this. is no stopping Fake this ass man. Fake ass Marjorie Vegeta. So obvious, like, yo, wait, wait, hold on. How are you here? Yo, that's it. That's it. I knew. I knew. See, that was fucking like you. Fake ass Marjorie Vegeta, bro. Fake ass oh. Marjorie Vegeta. Uh, well, you see, Raven, your daddy has given me a second chance at life. Oh, and also, I'm a firebender now. Yeah. And he starts whooping the whole crew. Lance is playing with his food. And then he pulls up on Raven and he's like, I must deliver the message. So Raven ended up having to use <laughs> But that did not work Shaft? at all. Shaft? Bro is still moving. So Robin ends up boxing him up, but Dog just he can't shivering die. it off. Oh my god. He can't die. Bro was like, hmm, he can't I die. Been dead for a minute. He can't die, bro. For, uh, he literally he cannot die. Bones. So he ended up tracking down Raven and made her see the end of the world. He absolutely I'm not gonna lie, they slid Raven out. This is looking kinda crazy. I'm seeing what hey, we might have to go back to the tier list chat because you know what I'm saying? He traumatized her. So then he just drops her off the building. He's like, Oh, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> Happy birthday. So then oh. some days later, he ends up pulling up to the Titan's Tower with a army of fire demons. And bro's like, mm -hmm, I told y'all I was spin the block on y'all one day. So Robin ended up kicking this man, oh. but he just got him like the damn Undertaker. And just started <laughs> biting everybody. <laughs> then Cyborg basically shot a Kamehameha at this man. <laughs> No, what the fuck? This nigga saw him. Ended up kicking this man, body. but he just got him like the damn Undertaker. Then just started bodying him. <laughs> Raven was looking real good this season. No cap, bro. Like, why is Raven looking? She was, she was getting slugged out, bro. What then the fuck? Cyborg damn. Now he was connected to the whole Wi-Fi, bro. You better stop. He shot a Kamehameha at this nigga. Of course, the Wi-Fi. he just ate it. Bro didn't even move. The Raven ended up just having to give herself up. So Slade was technically an accomplice to causing the end of the world. So let's see, this man basically just killed 7.7 .7 billion people. Yeah, do shit. So then after this, Trigon ended up betraying him. So then Slade has to end up working with Robin. So Robin can get Raven back and so Slade can get his body back. Cause the deal that Slade made with Trigon is that if he will bring Raven to him, he will give him his flesh back. But trying to mm. forth on this man, he was capping. So they ended up splitting up. So Robin's like, all right, so where you going? And Slay's like, down a little further. You see, people like me, when they die, go to really, really hot places. You feel me? I'm talking like Nashville chicken, my nigga. So later. Wait, so this nigga just accepted he was just, he was a bad person. His thing is doing fucking niggas is going to hell. Like, what the fuck? Nigga really accepted that he's going to hell. Like, you know what? I'm a piece of shit. I'm going to keep it stack with you. I'm gonna go down to fucking super hell and I'm just gonna cool it with Satan. Like, what? Now, on Slade ends up pulling up at this door with this giant oh, no, he he boss looking like, character below. guarding the thing. Dog looking like a soul's boss. And Dahl looking like, like Elden Ring King. You, seek, you shall not reclaim. You shall not. Did he, did he so bitch the him? boss Loki is working Slade uh -oh. right now. Bro is actually getting packed up. So then the dude says, You cannot hope to defeat pure evil. Then Slade's like, <laughs> Nigga, who the f do you think I am? So then he ends up blowing this man to bits and he ends up getting his whole body back. <laughs> Humanity restored is crazy. And he's like, mm -hmm, pure evil. Buddy, I am pure evil. That's a W mm -hmm. flex though. That axe too. So then while That's the Titans are fighting they Trigon, went down to the depths of hell to get his body back and got it back. This man's leg comes from the top rope and cuts off one of his horns. Bro's like, hmm, these are my kids to torment. So f off. And also, you gonna hold me and lie to me? <laughs> Eat my dick. 
So they ended up just jumping Trigon, and he was just done for. So yeah. then Slate dips, and he doesn't appear till the final episode of the show, which is one of the weirdest endings I have ever seen. Yep. So this man, Beast Boy, goes back to the House of Mirrors. Because it's literally just, it's just never got to answer, bro. It was so awkward, bro. She forgot, oh Tara's God. back in the Y'all got to see this. Y'all see Nothing. And then Slade just starts talking to him again. He's like, you know, <laughs> so how you get that Tara high? never liked you, right? Your breath stank. You musty. And you dusty. No wonder she don't want to remember your ass. So then bro comes from the roof and starts beating the hell out of him. But then Beast Boy ends up ramming him into this roller coaster. But it wasn't Slade. It was one of his bots. And the bot keeps on repeating. She doesn't want to see you anymore. She doesn't want to see you anymore. She doesn't want to see you anymore. Oh my goodness, bro. This man passed his test with ease. I mean, bro, this with man ease. is a demon and we just focusing on the kid show. I mean, this is the same man that drove his daughter to insanity, stole the speed force, and the amount of people this man has killed. Nah, bro, this man is a menace. Sergeant Gunner is crazy. He got it, bro. He got it. He fucking got it. That was a good fucking video. That was an excellent fucking video. Collapse. No, that's actually, actually not peace.